Enzymes are biological catalysts, some of which break down larger molecules into smaller ones that can then be absorbed by the villi in your small intestine into the bloodstream to be transported to every part of your body. For example, amylase is the enzyme that breaks down starch into glucose. It's found in your small intestine and saliva. Enzymes are specific, that is, they only break down certain molecules. For example, carbohydrates break down carbohydrates into simple sugars. Amylase is one of these. Proteases break down proteins into amino acids, and lipases break down lipids, that's fats, into glycerol and fatty acids. They're specific because they work on a lock and key principle. The substrate, for example the starch, binds to the enzyme's active site. We then call this a complex. However, this can only happen if the substrate is the right shape in order to fit the active site. In reality, they're incredibly complex shapes, no pun intended. These shapes here are just to represent them. Much like a lock and key, it only works if they're the right shape for each other. The rate of enzyme activity increases with temperature due to the molecules having more energy. That is until the active site changes shape, and so the substrate no longer binds. We say the enzyme has denatured. This maximum rate occurs at the optimum temperature. Optimum meaning best. This is similar for pH as well, except it can denature at too high or too low pH. The practical on this involves mixing amylase with starch at different temperatures or with different pH buffer solutions. Once mixed, we start timing, then every 10 seconds we remove a couple of drops and put in a spot in tile dimple with iodine in. To begin with, the iodine will turn black due to there still being starch present, but eventually it will stay orange, showing that all of the starch has been broken down. Calculate the time taken to do that, then plot these times against pH or temperature draw a curved line of best fit, and the lowest point is where the starch would have taken the shortest time to be broken down. That's the optimum temperature, or pH. However, in true biology fashion, we're technically not allowed to interpolate between points for some reason, so we must only say that the optimum pH or temperature is between the two lowest points. Shrug. Leave a thumbs up if you found this helpful. I've also made videos covering whole papers to help you in your revision. Click on the card to go to the playlist for your board, or have a look on my channel for more. See you next time.